welcome to Audio Addiction. My name is Brandon. We have Goalkeeper with us, and he can say his name and uh, what he does in the band. What's up, guys? Uh, my name is Ryan. Um, I'm the bass player and uh, singer of Goalkeeper. Awesome. So my first question, Ryan, how did you start out Goalkeeper? How did you get your members? Okay, so that's actually a pretty fun story. So uh, Mark, Cody, and I were all playing in separate bands, and uh, the way it all worked out was um, Cody's band used to play shows for Mark's promotion company. Oh, wow. Okay. And then, um, yeah, and then... Uh, my band got uh, asked to play one of those shows through Cody's band because we were friends. <laughs> um, and so for like, I, I'd say probably six months, we probably played like three or four shows where it was all like similar, uh, uh, the similar bill. Um, you know, we played with a lot of the same bands, but like, so it was almost like a fun thing. Like we would always yeah. come and hang out and, you know, stay the whole time and stuff. And uh, it just so happened that Mark's band stopped cody's band stopped <laughs> and my band stopped all like the same time and uh we mark needed an extra uh for the next show he was doing he needed an extra band like an as an opening slot so gotcha. he he pitched the idea about doing a cover uh a cover set and he invited me and cody and uh, our friend liam uh to do this and uh we played under the name the pizzas <laughs> and uh we played a seven song cover set and uh yeah, the rest is history. Everybody went nuts. They had a good time, so we were like, "Yeah, maybe we should do this again." And that's that's how we're that, now we're here. What what did you cover, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, we it was a, it was a good set. It was a uh, let's see, in no particular order because I don't remember the exact set. It was okay. uh, we did "Sugar We're Going Down," nice. Um, okay. "Shut Up" by Blink One Eighty Two. Uh, we did. Um, Vindication by Dashboard Confessional. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, My Friends Over You by uh, Newfound yeah, Glory. Glory. Yeah. And I'm blank, and I think there was one more. Uh, oh, uh, The Starting Line. Oh, uh, nice. Best to me. Yeah, so it was a pretty solid set. Yeah, that would be that would be definitely cool to see in the future, maybe. I don't know. Maybe yeah, well, we still, we still play Best of Me uh, yeah. from time to time, and we actually played Shut Up the last show that we played, so... We still bring them back from time to time, but who knows? Maybe the pizzas will do a reunion. <laughs> so anyway, my next question, Ryan, since you're kind of local, uh, what are some favorite venues you either like to play at or go see shows at? <sighs> local show. I'll tell you what. Studio Lulu is a fun place, especially yes. now that that brewery's next door. Um, I, I'm a big craft beer guy. That's why I like it. But, <laughs> I mean, but even before then, you know, it's it always seemed like a very uh, – intimate venue you know it's got plenty of parking easy load in for bands you know that, that's what i like um other other local venues that we play that i like uh i'd say um you know we played this place uh for charity show fest uh, something that uh, mark put on at this place called daily's irish pub okay, okay. and like you wouldn't from like the outside and when you like when you like think about it you're like why would that be like a cool venue but like <laughs> what they ended up doing was it's this like really bizarre shaped bar on the inside and then it had like a catering hall next to it and like the way it all was laid out it was just like super nice um that was a fun place to play too um although i will say that the best place i've probably played was the foundry yes. uh we when we opened up for uh for um uh free throw um, nice, but okay. I always I always get a little weird about that show because I forgot like half the lyrics to a Wonder Years song. <laughs> oh so my God. like in like yeah like yeah. we were playing and I was just like what <laughs> <laughs> so and that's um, that's also really bad because the Wonder Years are like from Philly so like yeah and I'm, I'm sure I'm, I'm their guitarist was there I think <sighs> I'm pretty sure he might have been in the green room for our set but he was definitely hanging out with free throw so oh uh, man. <laughs> Yeah, not my most proudest moment. <laughs> I, I I don't think I've ever felt that way in life, but if I ever have, that would that I think that would just defeat me. Oh my yeah. god! Oh man, <laughs> oh man, Studio Lulu. Ironically, you mentioned I just went there last Saturday, and I thought it yeah. was really cool. I had never been there before. Um, mm -hmm. 
So I thought that was really cool. I think they actually moved it to Ovation, which is like upstairs. Um, yeah. It was like a studio. I, th- I heard they were doing something. Yeah. But uh, I like that place so far. I, I hadn't been there again prior to mm-hmm. this, but I, I enjoyed it. But my next question, Ryan, what are some of your musical influences? Uh, personally, my musical influences are uh, I'm the biggest Blink 182 fan. Um, I'm also a huge uh, The Men Singers fan. I love oh, okay. The Men Singers. Um, and recently, I've been really vibing with like the story so far. Nice. Um, I just like how bouncy everything is. You know, like every song, <laughs> you're just like, uh huh, uh, yeah. Um, so, as far as the band con- is concerned, though, we do pull some influence from like Newfound Glory and um, bands like that. But for mine, mine is definitely Blink 182, Men Singers, and then probably Story so far right now. Nice, nice. Next question, Ryan. A follow up to influences. What have been some bands that you've been jamming more recently? Well, actually, this is one of my favorite <laughs> topics. Let me pull out my Spotify and see. Uh, I've been really hot on the new Story So Far single, obviously. Yes. Yeah. Um, that's a jam. Uh, oh, Northbound, The Flaws and Everything. Nice. Maybe. Okay. That's a. I was jamming to that earlier today. That was a good one. Um. I hit like an offspring phase too recently. Really? Like, okay. Yeah, I don't know. It just came out of nowhere. I heard like, I heard uh uh, um. Oh, fuck. What is it? Uh, original <laughs> gangster, original prankster, rather. There you go. And uh, I think that's right. I don't know. You just can't get out of your head. Oh, another band that I'm really into, well, at least like the one single was uh, Between You and Me, uh, Overthinking. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, they're they're pretty cool. Um. Let's see. Oh, and then our, our some of our best friends in a band called Heaven's Sake, okay. uh, they just put out a, a an album called Deform, and um, I'm really stoked for them. They did they did it with Craig Owens up Ooh, in nice. like Kentucky or something. Yeah. So uh, if you haven't checked that out, definitely check them out. They're they're heavy. <laughs> I'll have to give them a listen. I also I'm a huge Chiodos fan, drugs fan. Uh, so I I'm, mm-hmm. I like I like what Craig Owen does. So I think I'll yeah. have to definitely go give that a listen now at this point. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's as heavy as like Chiodos, but okay. it's definitely like it, it like it sounds like them. It's good. It's I don't know. It's just a generally like really good album. And the new music video for uh, Bet It on Black, I think it's called. Um, they they did a really nice job on it. Definitely one of the best like local bands in our scene right now in my opinion you know definitely a, a band that i think is getting sli- like slept on right now so well i will not sleep on them anymore i have to go <laughs> i have to go give them a listen now at this point because you recommended it to me yeah. but uh next question this one might seem familiar to you uh if you could pick another song to add into your cover rotation what song would it be oh man we talk about this all the time we talk about this all the time uh what did I say the other day? I wanted to do the Crazy Taxi song by The Offspring. <laughs> uh, but, like, Cody was like, hard path. Like, Why? He's like, this is the Crazy Taxi song. I'm like, that's what, it's cool. That's, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Um, what else would be a fun song to cover? Um, you know, I was, I was playing around with the idea of pitching the guys on doing uh, Rockstar by Post Malone. Ooh, um, okay, I've, okay. I've got a friend who who can who can rap, and I feel like I got pretty good flow from time to time. So <laughs> I thought it might be a, good, a cool challenge. Um, there's one other one. Co- Cody wants us to do All Star. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <Let's> smash out. <laughs> so you know, we'll we'll see. If I'm, we're not going to announce that one if it happens. So <laughs> You're just, just going to let sure it happen. To You're just going to let it happen. <laughs> You'll know it's coming because Cody will be smiling from ear to ear, just like, yeah. <laughs> well, if you do live in the area and you want to go see Goalkeeper, that there is a slim chance that that could happen. So now you guys mm-hmm. know. Um, but next question, Ryan, of course, I got to ask this favorite food to eat. Pizza. I mean, come on. Quintessential. I'm honestly just like, I'm a pizza, cheesesteaks, and burgers guy, man. Like, Nothing, yeah, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. I saw this video the other day of somebody who uh, went to, I think, like Geno's or something, got a cheesesteak, and then got like 
pizza for, from Lorenzo's and like made it like a taco pizza yes, cheesesteak yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. You I, saw that? I saw that too. Yeah, I was like, that that was like my dream right there. I don't know if I could do that, but I might try to do it. Uh, I don't know. I've had a lot of good cheesesteaks in Philly. That's one thing. I mean, obviously, they're known for cheesesteaks, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, there's this. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna spill the beans because uh, Ooh, every the beans time are being spilled. every time I go to TLA, yeah, everybody's like, go to Jim South, and I'm like, be quite honest with you, I don't like Jim's. Like, I don't know what it is. Yeah. I know that some people love it but mm -hmm. I just can't get down with it. And uh, so we were waiting in line at TLA, and we are like, we we're like, oh, we got these cheesesteaks. And I guess, like, one of my friends was talking about cheesesteaks to so one of the, like, security guys. And he was like, all right, well, I'm going to let you in on a secret. He's like, don't go to Jim's. And I was like, okay, we already know that. And I was like, so where do you go for cheesesteaks? And he was like, all right, you see that little shop, like, across the street? And I was like, is it called... Ishkabul, and he's like, yeah. He's like, go there. Mm -hmm. He's like, that's where you'll get your good cheesesteak. And I was like, all right. So now everybody that lives kind of in the Philly area, now you know, yeah, got to get cheesesteak there. So well, actually, that's that's. I wish I knew that this weekend because we were on South Street, and I'd like to add a, an answer to my favorite venues. <laughs> uh, we played this place called the Tusk yes, in Philly. Yeah. It was like, yeah, man. I mean. Upstairs, it was like small, but it was cool, you know. And the beer was cheap, and right across the, you know, right down the street from TLA, and probably right near where you're talking about. So yes, it's literally across. Like you can see it, it's literally across the street from TLA. Mm. So that's uh, cool. That's a recommendation for all you cheesesteak loving people. I would, <laughs> I would uh, highly recommend checking that out. Uh, if they sponsor me, that'd be sick. But that's yeah, right. outside of the let's point. Let's get let's get it going. Good cheesesteak sponsorship. That'd be dope. But anyway, yeah. next question, Ryan. If you could pick somebody to collaborate with, who would it be? Mark Hoppus. Mark Hoppus. Hands down. Oh my god, I'm the biggest Mark Hoppus fan. And like, in my opinion, the best music that Motion City Soundtrack ever put out were the albums that he produced. In my opinion, I mean. You know, there's a lot of they put out a lot of amazing stuff, but I just think Mark Hoppus is the man. Um, what do you think about the new Blink with uh, Alkaline? I know he's on an Alkaline Trio. I forget his name. With Matt Skiba. Matt Skiba, yeah. Yeah, um, I like where their heads at. Uh, I think that I've always been a Mark Hoppus guy. You know, so like, you know, I was always plus forty four. You know, so like the more he sings, the more I'm happy. But like, uh, I do. I will. I will admit that. There are times where I miss Tom. Yeah. You know, it's just a different band, you know, like, but I don't think they were wrong in, in doing it. Like, I, I know a lot of people who were like, oh, fuck them. Like, you know, <laughs> they're not the same band and shit. I'm like, you know, Tom doesn't want to be a part of it anymore. Like, yeah, you know, let him do his thing. If they want to go with Skiba, honestly, I thought Skiba was the best possible person they could have picked in terms of like cred in the music scene. You know, I mean, they could have gone with, any you know the madden brothers or like something <laughs> yeah. else that probably would have been less cool oh, you know man. so yeah i don't know if i i definitely don't feel like the madden brothers i would not. yeah i don't or like I, pete wentz joins or something no, but yeah. like right like matt ski but i think wait there was one other per oh you know who i thought would have been a really cool replacement even though it probably wouldn't have been realistic um the lead singer of some 41 Oh, okay. I thought probably could have okay. been a really good um, fit because their voices are similar. Him and Tom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I could see I could see that happening. I mean, obviously the resurgence of Sub Forty One, I feel like kind of would have definitely hampered that. Um, yeah, I don't know. That, yeah, I think I I also agree with you. I feel like Matt Skiba was probably the best choice. I'm not like mm -hmm. I like Blink One Eighty Two, and I can't say that I'm the biggest fan of Blink One Eighty Two. I think they write amazing music, but. Mm -hmm. Out of choices that they had available, I, I probably would agree with you in saying that Matt Skeeb was was the best out of, yeah. I guess, choices that were picked. But next mm -hmm. question, Ryan, if you could play another musical instrument besides the ones you know how to play, what would it be and why? So, like, I shouldn't know how to play this. I mean, if you, you like... could be really bad at it. How about that? Okay. Well, I mean, I I I would love to be a drummer. Okay. And, like I. I mess around from time. I'd mess around from time to time on Cody's set, and then he's like, "Ryan, get the fuck off." Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, uh, that or um, the theremin. 
Ooh, that'd be okay. a cool one. That's a, uh, that's a wild know, card I, answer. I, yeah, I saw uh, I saw um, Kogi and Cambria uh, in Atlantic oh, City a couple of years ago. Yeah, and uh, the encore, they brought out a theremin, and the lead singer Kogi and Cambria was like playing it with his hair, like <laughs> head banging. It was going, wee, wee, that's wee. cool. It was really good. Yeah, so probably a theremin. Okay, <laughs> just for that reason alone. Now you just have to like grow your hair out really long and try to yeah. acquire a theremin. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> next question, Ryan. You mentioned Crazy Taxi earlier, so you I have a feeling you know what type of question's coming next, but if you could be a video game character, who would you be? That's a good one. I really like this question. Um, any video game character? I would probably be... You know what I'd probably do? I, this... I don't know if this is a lame answer or not, but I'd be the the lone wanderer, like in Fallout. Like, okay, okay. I love Fallout. I think it's like the coolest game. Um, oh no, or uh, the happy mask salesman in Legend of Zelda, Ocarina um, <laughs> or uh, Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask. I love. Yeah. I love the. You know, he's like doing the. He, oh shit! Hold on. <laughs> he's like doing the. You know, he's doing like the crank thing. You know, with playing his music, and all of a sudden he's like. I don't know. I just thought that was funny. <laughs> so that, that was a good answer. I liked. I liked both answers more. Just more specifically, I think I liked the Majora's Mask one because I also am a huge Nintendo fan. So uh, yeah, I, I love that game. I can I can get down with that answer. But next question, Ryan. Nice. In your opinion, who puts on a great live show? Hmm. You know, uh, at, we went. Uh, we got to play uh, four chord music fest this year nice and uh hands down i think the well i think the best the best showmen right now you know we're state champs like they just put on such an epic show like they're so li like lively and stuff but if you want to if you want to see a good show check out our friends and keep flying okay like uh, have you had a chance to check them out i have not actually are yeah, they are dude, they local the, to like Philly area? Uh, they're more they're more I think they're like North Jersey, New York. Okay, okay. Uh, they used to be they used to be Survey Says, but then they did like some adjustments in the lineup. Okay. Um, and, but dude, I mean they're all over the place. They're they're super fun. They play like a kind of a mix of like pop punk and ska, okay. but more on the pop punk side. So it's just really high energy, lots of leg kicks and lots of like you know. <laughs> you know fun <laughs> that sounds like that sounds like a good time to me I, i'll have to go give him yeah. a listen and hopefully play a show around here but uh next question yeah. ryan actually they're gonna be playing they're gonna be playing sorry uh right. this saturday this sunday if it, if it comes out <laughs> uh, we're gonna be playing with them at proud mary sports bar november i guess it's what 19th for I david earl's right, birthday yeah. show so they'll be there so make sure to check it out <laughs> <laughs> all right next question ryan if you could compile a dream tour, who'd be on it? You can also include your band as well if you so choose. Well, actually, you know, it's funny that you said that because I had like a dream the other day. And I don't. This is this might sound lame, but I <laughs> thought like, what if, what if, like, what if my band got so big that we could tour with anybody we wanted, right? <laughs> and then who, like, so we pick like all the bands that we'd want to Correct. see on tour. So like maybe like let's just say like it's. Corey so far, Knuckle Puck, and like, um, you know, like uh, uh, the Wonder Years or something like that. What we would do is play first, right? And then the we what we would do is stay on stage, but watch the other bands play the rest of the, the show. You okay. know what I mean? So like, we would be interacting, like watching them with the rest of the fans because that's what we want to do. We we booked it because we wanted to see them play. I don't know, um, but probably probably like those three bands or like you know like Blink One Eighty Two would obviously be like surreal. You know if we could do that. There you um, go. Uh, yeah. Probably yeah. Probably like probably like the story so far. Knuckle Puck, Wonder Years, Blink One Eighty Two. That'd be a good Ooh, one. Okay, okay. I like that line. That'd be a sexy tour. That would be. <laughs> I, that that would be sick. Uh, that I like that lineup a lot. I just saw Knuckle Puck pretty recently. 
uh, yeah. what they're doing. They're their another band that puts on a killer show. They were wild. I have ne- I saw them maybe like once or twice, and mm-hmm. I, I didn't feel like they had that energy. But when I saw them, I saw them in Asbury Park, and they just ripped mm. it. So, uh, Was that at the House of Independence? Yes, it was, actually. How is that venue? I love it, actually. I think for me, because yeah. like, I'm kind of straddled between Philadelphia and Asbury, um, okay. it's, it's a good kind of... It's about the same amount of a drive from there to Asbury and vice versa in Philly to mm-hmm. my house. Um, but I really enjoy it. It's really cool. When you walk in um, to the right, they usually have like all the bands have their stuff set up. And then they have the mm-hmm. bar upstairs. And then you can go downstairs. And then the the you know the stage is pretty much to the front. And then you have like a bunch of like floor space. It sounds great. I think mm. I think it's really nice. Um, it's really yeah. convenient because there's like a bunch of food places like in that area. Um, so I think they definitely picked a good spot. It's probably one of my favorite yeah. New Jersey venues, excluding maybe Starland. I probably see Starland. Okay. Starland and yeah, House I don't make it place. up. Yeah, I don't make it up to Starland very often because I live down like in Cape May County. So oh yeah, it's tough. Yeah, so it's tough for me to do that. But but uh, the Asbury scene really intrigues me right now you know it seems like there's a lot of stuff going on there between like brighton uh bar and yes. you know the asbury park brewery and stuff like that they got a ton of now stuff this going house, on. Of- house of independence too yeah they got a ton what? of stuff going on and a mm-hmm. lot of tours have been coming through house of independence pretty recently so uh yeah seaway i think's playing there yes on their way through yeah and i think silverstein's also playing there as well oh, nice. next in the new year so um, they're another band that puts on a crazy show. Yeah, they're they're awesome. I'm excited I to see that. Di- I actually, fun fact, I almost died during one of their sets. Uh, really? Oh, at the Electric shit. Factory. Yeah, <laughs> I was I was sandwiched up against like two people, like <sighs> kind of near like the front, and I, I I started like halfway back. Somehow I managed to get up there, <laughs> but like I could. And I'm a big dude. I'm like, you know, almost six foot, like kind of heavy. So like I was pinned up, like I couldn't touch the ground, wow. and I couldn't breathe. Oh, and no. so, like, I had a lot of fun, but I was like, I got to take a break because Augsburg <laughs> Red was on next. And I knew if that was the way they were getting for Silverstein, I'd definitely die during August Burns Red. So, Oh, yeah, I, that's, that's like hometown I stood show. in the back for them, but still rock. Like, they fucking rock. Th- that's like hometown show for August Burns Red, at least. I, yeah. I, know they're from, I know they're from Lancaster, but, like, I feel like that's their hometown show because, like, every yeah. time I'm in Philly, like, I always see the crowd and I'm like not I choose not to be in the pit because it mm-hmm. would just rip you they'll just rip you apart so right. but, <laughs> yeah but uh getting back to the question Ryan favorite TV mm-hmm. show favorite movie favorite TV show probably Breaking Bad okay I like I love Breaking Bad um although the uh, the new ups, the new season of Stranger Things was awesome too that show's just so solid um, favorite movie uh, of all time is uh, American Graffiti. Ooh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Steven Spielberg before. Before uh, Star Wars. or no, I'm sorry, George no, Lucas exactly. before George he did. Lucas, yeah. yeah, before he did Star Wars. Um, it was a great movie. Nice, nice. All right, next question, Ryan. Mm-hmm. If you could only listen to one album from Mon Street, what album would it be? Hmm. Probably either the newest story so far album. Okay. Or no, 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 no. Backtrack. Backtrack. <laughs> no, it would be it'd be uh, after after the party by the Mensingers. Ooh, the okay. newest Mensingers album. For that I mean, I've already listened to it all the way through like a thousand <laughs> times. Like, could easily do it a thousand more times. There you go. There you go. I like that. I like that you rechanged mm-hmm. your answer because you're like, you know, I'm gonna be listening to yeah. this for 30 days. I pick yeah. something that I like. Um, mm-hmm. But lastly, Ryan, tell them about Goalkeeper. Uh, tell them what's going on with that and uh, anything coming up in the next couple months. All right. Yeah. So Goalkeeper, uh, we are pretty busy. Um, like I like I said earlier, uh, I don't know when this is gonna air, but. Um, it's this December. weekend, it's November December. 18th and 19th, uh, we're going to be playing, uh, Lansdale PA okay. with, um, our friends in merit, uh, cold climate, um, run for it and, uh, Firestarter. 
they're going to be there. Um, and then uh, Saturday, we're going to be playing our friend David Earl's birthday show uh, at Proud Mary Sports Bar in Atlantic City. Um, and then December 16th, it's a Saturday, we're going to be playing Creep Records uh, nice. for our uh, holiday show. Uh, we're going to be joined by our buddies in Eternal Boy, Above the Mendoza, uh, Moment to Capitalize, and uh, Bros of Gordon Levitt. <laughs> um, and then we're going to be taking a little bit of time off. I mean, we might, I don't know, and uh, we just got added to, uh, although he, he hasn't announced it yet, so maybe block this part out. Uh, we just got added to uh, Not Half Bad Fest up in Wachung oh, nice. uh, with Bad Cat Media. Um, so we're going to be doing that. Um, then we're probably going to be taking a little bit of time not playing as many shows because we're getting ready to do uh, a new EP. Um, and I think I can announce this because everything's uh, set in stone. Uh, we're going to be working um, it, with uh, King Studio, who, uh, re you know, he's been known for doing... Um, uh, Northbound's EP, yes. um, and also uh, he's going to be doing, or he just did a uh, new Hit the Lights. Nice. Um, okay, so, yes. yeah, so Hit the Light, like uh, the newest song by them. I don't know if you've heard it. It's pretty, yes. it's pretty big. Um, so, uh, and then Kevin from Hit the Lights is also going to be working with us oh, nice. on that album. So we're going to be heading out to Kentucky for two weeks in March to record that, and then hopefully the EP will be out, you know, a couple of months after that. So... Just been pretty, uh, <laughs> just pr pretty busy right now writing songs and you know closing out the new year. That's basically what we're up to. There you go. There you go. Uh, that's really cool. I like hit the lights a lot too. So I'm that's that's super sick, even for me to hear as somebody like just as a fan. Yeah, so. yeah. We were we were like dumbfounded. Like uh, Mark and I at Four Chord, uh, we were walking back to my car at the end of the show and uh, we saw Kevin. Or well, we didn't see him. He actually called us like from behind. Oh, really? And was like, "Hey, are you guys goalkeeper?" We were like, "Yeah, who are you?" Because I didn't know. Oh, you know, I didn't know each each of the members of Hit the Lights, you know. But he's like, "Oh, I'm Kevin from Hit the Lights." Like, and I remember, like, like, checked oh, out your show. You guys are really good. <laughs> yeah, I was like, "Shit!" And he's like, "Yeah, I like I like your voice. It's really good." I'm like, "Get the fuck out!" Of here. Like, <laughs> You're just hosing us. Um, but apparently, they wanted to work with us, and so we're we're gonna do it. I'm. I'm like beside myself because like I never would have thought that our band would have gone from being a joke pizza cover <laughs> band to you know recording you know oh and I forgot uh, one other thing hopefully in between now and December we'll be releasing our uh, newest single screwdriver nice. um, which we yeah which we went to um, the lumber yard and worked with uh, Nick Breezy of Man Overboard oh, and. Wow. Uh, cool. <laughs> and uh, ace enders of the early november awesome so we're really excited for that one um so we're, i think we're doing the music video in a couple weeks and then that should be shortly after so there you go well there's plenty of cool stuff yeah. plenty of big names which <laughs> is really cool for you guys but check out yeah. goalkeeper um all the links will be in the description where you can find out about social media go give them a subscribe on youtube uh, and do all that stuff. So you Please don't do everything. Out. Don't miss out on anything goalkeeper wise. Um, and if you enjoyed this interview, make sure to subscribe, of course, and hit the thumbs up. It really does go a long way. And of course, thank you to Ryan for coming on. Uh, this was hilarious. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, and then hopefully, I'll see you guys playing around here sometime soon. For sure, man. Can't wait. Hey, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching, of course. Uh, if you enjoy what we do, make sure to go check out the other series we do. We do album reviews, we do band interviews, and we do live videos, so definitely go check that out. Um, hit that subscribe button. It really helps our channel, helps us grow. Make sure to hit that like button as well. Uh, go follow us on social media. That's all down below. We try to keep that as updated as possible. We also made a new website where we'll be posting photos of upcoming concerts and stuff like that which you can go check out at audioaddictionmedia.com and come get your fix with us guys talk to you later deuces